We're going to explain some information to you about Thorn roof bars. That's the purpose of the video. The objective, we're going to try and help you find out what Thorn roof bar setup fits your car. We're going to share our knowledge with you to help you save money. Uh, and on the basis that Thorn roof bars can cost anywhere new from 150 up to over 300 pounds, um, there is a sizable amount of money uh, that you can save um, and what, also, what is also going to help you save money is the fact that Thor have recently bought out a new range so we're focusing on the old range which is perfectly adequate and serves sort of 98% of the vehicles that are on the road at the moment probably. Uh, if we achieve the two first objectives you learn more and we save you money then what we'd like you to do is make a £2 donation to Diabetes UK. So we're going to show you three web pages. The first is eBay. So what we'd ask you to do is just put in roof bar information in the search field. Hit return. And that's going to bring up our advert. Okay. So if you scan down there, you can read up a little bit about some of the changes. The purpose of this video is to try and help you understand that a little bit more easily. Um, and if you hit buy it now, again, this is only if we're saving you money and you learn something. If you hit buy it now, two pound will go straight to Diabetes UK. The next website we'll show you, our website. We're roofbarman.com. And if you go to contact us, Put your name, your email in, and if you want to know anything about roof bars, we'll we'll answer your uh, your email if you send us a uh, via our contact uh, via our website. Um, so you're aware um, things are a little bit quiet at the moment. Um, it's the end of May, beginning of June. Obviously, we're in lockdown, sort of. Uh, no one's allowed to uh, put a roof box on their car uh, at the moment, really, because they can't go on holiday. Um, so things are quiet, uh, are fairly quiet. Although there possibly is one man uh, in England that could get away with a roof box on his car, uh, but we haven't heard from Mr. Cummings to see whether or not he wants one uh, from us as yet. Um, third website that we're going to show you uh, is Diabetes uh, UK. And the only purpose of showing you this is if you don't have an eBay account, don't have PayPal, all we'll ask is if you wouldn't mind just going to this website, hitting donate, and then you can uh, slim your two pound uh, to Diabetes UK. Again, only if we're saving you money or, or you find uh, um, the, the uh, video helpful. So the basics to save money. Um, don't buy new, buy used. Um, and the reason, reason for that is further down there we say the bars are virtually indestructible. These are the roof bars. They're made of steel uh, and these ones are coated in uh, plastic coating. They will last a lifetime. You will have them a lifetime. Uh, but you're going to change your car in three to five years time. And your setup on your current car um, will not fit the new car you buy. Or there is a very small chance you might be able to use some of the elements of the bars um, to uh, fit your new car, but even that is unlikely. And I'll explain that because, as you can see from these bars, they're different lengths. These bars are 120, these are 108, these are 135. Uh, they've got a slot on the inside. So if you're fitting car, uh, foot packs to your car, you can't slot them in close enough. So if you've got, if your car currently takes 762s, which are 135 centimetres, you get another vehicle um, and you think, oh, that's all fine. I've got long enough bars because my new one needs 761s. Won't work because this slot will prevent you pushing the foot pack in close enough to the side of your car. So. The only ones where um, you might get a, a good chance that they'll fit your next car is if you always buy cars with raised roof rails that you can slide your hand under. And remember, if then, 
sure the foot pack uh, will fit but the bars might be a different length and you can't necessarily use the bars so you'd have 50% of the equipment you could use again. That's why we suggest uh, buying uh, second hand. The other reason is um, that people typically only use roof bars a handful of times so they're going camping, they're putting a roof box on, putting bike racks on, um, going to centre parks, whatever they do so they might use them two or three times in a year um, and then they'll change their car. You can pick up um, second hand equipment that is in virtually uh, mint condition. Next thing, we'll just summarise what we're going to, uh, this section, what, we'll, what we're going to say to you. So you've got the, we're going to talk about the Thule Evo range versus uh, the Rapid Fit range. We're going to talk about the we're going to talk about the different roof types, so that's key ingredient for your, uh, for what fits your car. There's different roof types, you need to understand which roof type you've got, and then you can direct you to the appropriate section of the manuals and the lookup tools, etc., uh, to see which uh, parts you need. We take you to the suggested lookup sites, so what websites are the best to use. We talk to you about the Thule guidelines, these manuals, which are going to be absolutely key to you um, being able to save money um, and again I'll, I'll get into that in a little bit more detail in a moment and then we're going to give you a general overview of some of the misconceptions some of the, um, the things that go on um, just to give you a rough idea of, of uh, what you need without going into too much detail so what we say is we strongly recommend you watch all sections of this uh, of the above sections of the video and then we're going to break the video into sections that suit your roof type and uh, we're going to show you uh, at that stage where you can get your what parts you need where you might be able to get them and then how to fit them to your car um, we'll show you that but you might not be interested in all elements of it you're unlikely to be because you've got a specific setup for your for your car so we're trying to cut it down because there's a lot of information um, so the first thing to talk about is the Evo versus Rapid Fit uh, system. So Thor started to roll out their Evo range in 2018 and prior to that they had a Rapid Fit system. So you'll, you'll see from here, this is an Evo clamp, 7105. This is a Rapid System, 754 clamp. This is a 750. Okay, that's the latest version. It was preceded by this, which in turn was preceded by this. When you fit these, these foot packs are actually for vehicles with a with a normal roof. Okay, and when you fit um, vehicles like that, then you need a, an attachment called a fitting kit that goes in the bottom of the foot pack that hooks under your door. This is a fitting kit. It's from Audi. And this fitting kit goes with the 754. You'll notice each one has got a different number in there, each part's different, um, and the instructions tell you which ones go on the, the, the front left, front right, rear right, rear left. But that fitting kit goes with that uh, foot pack, and you will find there are um, a couple of, th there's almost a thousand different fitting kits because each one's unique to your model car. Okay, this fitting kit, which is out of a Land Rover, goes with this foot pack. First thing you'll kind of notice is that they are somewhat different. This is important, and this is one of the key things that, that's probably confu well, is confusing a lot of people, I'm afraid. You cannot, this kit begins with a five. All 5,000 fitting kits go with 7105 foot packs. This fitting kit goes with the 754, and fitting kits start with the first numbers of 1,000. All right, but you cannot mix this fitting kit with that foot pack, or this fitting kit with that foot pack. All right, that's important. Whilst we're here, I just mentioned the 750s. Like I say, they preceded the uh, 754s. Uh, but all of these are rapid fit setups. These are raised, uh, this is for raised roof rails, so roof rails you can slide your hand under. This is 7104 versus 7105. What preceded 
the 7104 was the 757, which is this, which goes round a, a roof rail that you can slide your hand under, or one of these, which is a strap. So these are for the regular size uh, roof rails, one in front to back on your roof. These are for the slightly larger ones, which needed a strap. And what preceded these was a 755. And we're gonna show you when we do the uh, raised roof, there's one that precedes that called a 415. This combined both elements of these, so it only needs one foot pack, okay? What you've gotta be aware, you're not gonna see many of these in the second hand market very, um, very cheaply, because they're brand new. So you'll end up paying, I don't know, 90 odd quid, I think, for, for these things, where you'll be able to pick these up at a fraction of the cost and they'll do the same job. Back to the slideshow. So the new Evo range was rolled out in 2018. Prior to this, they had the rapid fit system, which I've given you some examples of. Um, what Thal did was in 2018, the first element that they rolled out were the roof bars, were the Evo bars, okay? So these bars in front of you here are rapid fit bars, all of them except this one, and I'll come on to that uh, in a moment. So uh, what they did was Thor said in 2018, they brought out the Evo bars, which are to all intents and purposes for you and I, pretty much the same as these. They have obviously done their <laughs> research. Um, they've made them lighter. They've done their research and development on the things. So they've made them a bit lighter. They changed the length of one of them. The most common one was a 120, 761. They've actually changed that to 118 centimeters. Um, then they've, um, but the others have stayed the same. They made them lighter um, and, and more aerodynamic apparently, okay. Similarly, this is, this is the aero bar, which is a, also a, a rapid fit uh, system. And then this is a wing bar. They ceased to make the aero bars. They still make the wing bars, um, but they've called them the Evo range now, and they've changed their numbering. They've also changed some of the aerodynamics on these. But the important thing to remember is that you can use the rapid fit roof bars on the new Evo range foot packs, and you can use the Evo range roof bars on your rapid fit foot packs okay so unlike the fitting kit and foot pack thing that we chatted about a minute ago which weren't interchangeable all roof bars go on all setups very uh, useful and you have to thank Thor for that they have made it that much more complicated um, but the thing the thing is to remember going forward is if you went out and buy, bought a new car uh, today we're in the end of May beginning of June 2020 if you bought a new car in 2020 and it was a new model vehicle not just a new car but it was a new model then you would not be able to find a rapid fit setup for your vehicle you would have to buy an Evo range setup um, and that's just because they're not making the rapid fit uh, system for new vehicles however if you went out and bought a new car, 2020 registered uh, tomorrow, but the model was manufactured in 2018 or 2017, then even though you'll have the Evo uh, range available, most likely, um, you will uh, be able to use the old rapid fit system because you've still got some, um, you've got plenty of them around in the, um, being used by lots of people and lots will come up on the, on the second hand market. So just to reiterate, any model manufactured in 2018 or prior, you can still use the rapid uh, fit system. What we're really focused on is in here is, is, is these uh, guides because they um, deal with the rapid fit system, which is where you can save money. So we move on to different roof types, which use different roof packs. I've mentioned a couple over there. Um, we're just gonna focus on five roof types. Um, so the first one is raised roof rails, you can slide your hand under. Second one is a normal roof, and that's going in under the, uh, the door sill. Next one is fixed points. What you'll find on your roof is you've got four flaps, 
uh, or slides that when you open them up they'll reveal a, a threaded hole or some sort of lug or whatever that something the, the kit can be clamped to. So underneath this foot pack here goes a fitting kit which will screw into the fixed points that are on there. The, most manufacturers have got f some roofs with uh, fixed points. BMW have a lot um, and uh, some of the folds, the focus uh, and such like, they have those fixed points. Flush rails, which is a lot more common uh, these days. Um, obviously, most estate vehicles seem to have flush rails, uh, or a lot of them do at least. Um, we'll go through uh, and show you examples of, of what fits there and, and educate you around that. And then finally, not many vehicles have T-Tracks, but there's a few. A Land Rover Discovery is, is one, for example. Some of their versions have a, have a T-Track. Um, and you'll notice that this foot pack, this foot pack, and this foot pack are all identical. But what's different is the bit that goes underneath it, which is the fitting kit. Okay, You'll see the numbering on there. We've missed out number five. Um, I'm sure um, that is for uh, vehicles with rain gutters. Um, you can send me an email if, if you like on that. You'll probably work it out anyway by the time we've been through this. Uh, but quite frankly, this deals with 98% of the uh, of the vehicles that are out there at the moment. And probably, to be fair, um, these four deal with 95% of the vehicles. There's not too many out there with T-Tracks. So uh, that's your different roof type to be aware of. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take you to the lookup sites. First one we're going to go to is Thule. Okay. And what you do is you go to racks of carriers, go to roof racks, and then you get a drop down box here. Okay. And you put in what your vehicle type is, what year it's registered, and what model it is. This is quite interesting because this is a Ford Fiesta with a regular roof, um, or normal roof as they say. You'd have a drop down box here, some would have a fixed points and, and uh, some would have roof rails as well as a normal roof, so it gives you the option to do either. Um, so uh, what's interesting about this is that this Fiesta was uh, the model from 2018 to 2017 but it, what it's giving you is the options it's giving you is all Evo so when they rolled out the Evo range they started to replace the foot packs first and then the fitting kits of the most common cars so you know there's a lot of Golfs have only got the Evo range available now the Fiesta um, so all, all when you do this lookup, and it's true of all the lookup sites, they will only give you the most recent version that's available for your vehicle. They will not talk to you about what the fit system. So you can see the square bars here, £194, and you can pay up the 407 not that anybody would ever want to put a slide bar to it. Um, if we open up the square bars, you'll see that all of those are Evo bar numbers. 7123 uh, is the square bar. The clamp is the 7105, which I showed you earlier, and 5087. So all fitting kits for this Evo clamp begin with a 5. Okay, so just bear that in mind when we're, when we're going through that. The next website I'll show you is the Roof Racks website. So if you go to their uh, Roof Bar Guide, we do the same, we put the same vehicle in, it's a fold. It's a Fiesta, and what happens with these, these guys is they bring you all up, all the prior ones. So some have a fixed point, with fixed point, without fixed points, and so on. Okay, they'll go to the same one that we've got. These boys are somewhat cheaper um, to get the pack from. Um, like I say, extremely helpful if you ever ring them up. They've got some other stuff on their website which um, is extremely uh, useful. Um, and uh, but the, the, the key ingredient with this as well is the Evo pack. They're, they're all doing Evo, uh, the Evo range. They're not giving you the rapid fit range um, because they're just sending you what's available now. So this one, third one, I'm going to take you to uh, is Halfords. Okay, here you put in the registration of your vehicle. Trouble is, what they give you 
is so many options. So they give you the, the, the wing bar Evo, they give you the, the old uh, rapid fit system, um, and they give you another 127 centimeter one versus the 118. Sure, either of them could probably fit. See how expensive those things are. Um, then they give you the Evo clamp. Then they give you their own Exodus, which is made by Thor, but they brand it as Halfords um, or Exodus. They give you the Exodus foot pack. Uh, they give you the Halfords roof bars. So to be frank, whilst um, that's uh, there's lots of options there. You'd almost need someone to decipher it for you, what goes with what. Um, you obviously can go into Halfords and they'll, uh, I'm sure they'll help you, um, but they will look up the manuals. Um, and if they know, if they've got somebody there that, that uh, knows their way around or what happened previously on the old range, then they can probably help you save money. Just by, just one thing, if you're looking for a Fiesta, so there's the Evo clamp, the 5087, which goes with 7105. This kit, 1503, goes with the 754 foot pack. Look at the price of that. That's £10. On eBay, they cost 25 quid at the moment. And when they're new, they cost 40 The reason they're obviously full of uh, a lot of the old foot pack fitting kit uh, supplies, um, and they're trying to... Um, get rid of them basically because they're selling the Evo clamp. All right, so just something to uh, be aware of. Um, but it is somewhat of a confusing site even though it's quite useful to just pump in your uh, registration. Next thing we're gonna look up um, is we're gonna go to a, a Thor guide, 2018, all right? Now, I'm gonna pull that up on here. We've also got a 2009 uh, guide because that gives you some alternatives for older uh, vehicles. I can't find this online anymore, uh, but uh, I'll, I'll show you a couple of little examples uh, with the voxels in here, for example, it's just as a sort of a sample really, but there's, there's, there's a few others as well. Uh, I do mention them on our um, uh, information sheet that we've got up for, for eBay. And then I'll, I'll just try and show you what I'll do. Search Fiesta. One that we were looking at was a normal roof here. So it was 20, it was this one down here. Okay. So this gives you a wing bar code, which is the old wing bar before they brought out the uh, Evo range. And wing bars began with a nine. 960 is 108 centimeters, 961 is 120 centimeters or 118, 969 is 127 centimeters, um, 962 up here is 135 centimeters. Okay, so um, the other thing that they've got is they've got the slide bar, the pro bar, the new Evo range um, square bars. And then they've got the square bar that was the old rapid fit bar, okay? So if we go to the what we were looking at, they've got the new square bar is 7122. Okay, dismiss that. We know that's going to work, but you'd have to buy that new. You won't get that cheap. But what you will get cheap is 761, which is 120 centimetres. And then you'll get the 754 foot pack cheap. And then I've already told you, you can pick up the 1503, uh, fit and kit for a tenner off of uh, Halfords, you can pick them up, you'd probably be able to pick them up as cheap as that on eBay pretty soon if they're selling them new for £10. show you one thing as I mentioned in for the 2009, I'm going to go to uh, Voxels which is um, just because it helps give you uh, an example of this, but in this in this manual the Voxel Vector GTS, this is an example of, of one it's got a fixed point. You can fit 7.5. That's your setup based on one uh, mode. That's the setup will also fit. So you can use a 7.53 or a 7.51 uh, foot pack. And then there's also a 7.50. So like a normal bar, you can you can you've got a setup for that as well. This setup here, 7.50, 7.62, 1285. You'll probably be able to pick up for less than 15 quid. You might not actually own a Vector if it's no use to if you don't own a Vector, obviously. Um, but there's other ones up here, for example, the Corsa. 
this is a, a useful foot pack to, to know. It's using a fixed point, which would normally uh, need a 751 foot pack, plus a fitting kit, plus bars. This 4304 combines the fitting kit and the foot pack. Only works on a few cars, There's, it works on a Ford uh, as well. I think that Ford Fiesta, actually. Um, I think the Ford Fiesta that we've got up here with fixed points doesn't list it. All right, doesn't list it on this manual, but if you've got an earlier manual, it would. So here's your example, 760, 108 centimeter um, roof bar, 751 foot pack, 3081 is the fitting kit. So the 3081 fitting kit and the 751 foot pack actually combine into a 4304. All right, um, I know that's the, um, th that'll say that if I went to the, no, it won't, uh, Ford Fiesta, uh, yes it will. Um, it will say it here. I know this is all very confusing, isn't it? But you will work it out, I can assure you. There it is there, 4304760. All right, so that's, see, that's the advantage. In 2009, they were selling the 4304 and the 760. They've upgraded it in, by 2018 to go to the, uh, maybe a more lucrative pair, more updated, but I can assure you we fitted dozens of, of the 4304s uh, onto vehicles uh, of that ilk. So again, that saves you money. You'll be able to pick the 4304 up for, for dust on, or on eBay. Okay, so just to give you an overview, I've mentioned the bars. They're not universal length. One of the things that um, I just want to emphasize, because you see this, I've had people contact me and say, Paul, all I need is a, is a, a foot pack and, and, and the fitting kit, because I'm sorted, but I've got the bars, okay? This bar is solid. Thor made those before they made the rapid fit. This can only be used on vehicles that still have rain gutters, okay? It's pretty much next to, uh, it's pretty much useless for anything else. So your bars need to have the slot on the underside. And remember, you can't get away with just taking the longest bars and buying the longest bars and thinking they're gonna use for all cars uh, that need shorter rails because of the slot on the underside. And just to prove that, this is something that comes off of a, um, uh, off of a, uh, a vehicle with raised roof rails. You can't push it in to a certain extent so it won't be able to get over your roof rails. You see, the, the, the slot stops you, all right? So just bear that in mind. You can't have, they're not universal length. They've got to have a slot on the, on the underside. Evo uh, bars fit rapid fit foot packs and rapid fit bars fit Evo foot packs. So you can, any bar you get that's thaw, it will fit on any of the foot packs that they have that are relevant for your vehicle. Uh, other, um, excuse me, I should have rushed on that one. One of the, the foot packs, there's a couple of the older version foot packs like this and this that will only work with square bars. That's a 750 and that's a 755. But what you're, um, if you're doing anything later than 750 or 755, so you're using a 754 or 755, uh, here, uh, 757, sorry, um, then they will fit either an Evo uh, roof bar or a rapid fit roof bar. So we've shown you uh, a couple, so they rolled out the Evo range in 2018, we've talked a little bit about that. Um, they've now got the 7104, which is for raised roof rails, the 7105, which is for um, uh, cars with a normal roof. And then they've also got a 7106. I'm sorry we don't have a sample of that, but the 7106 is coming along to replace the 753, which is when it's used for um, flush rails. So that one uh, is out, 7106, but again, um, they're making fitting kits that go in the bottom of, of these will go in the bottom of the 7106 uh, foot pack as, uh, as well um, and you won't be able to interchange those. So we'll talk about that a little bit more 
when we're fitting them to the flush rails. So the other thing, important thing to remember is you cannot interchange rapid fit fitting kits with Evo range and vice versa, okay? So that sort of blows your mind. Um, we're focusing on the rapid fit range to save you money because that's where we'll be able to pick them up and, and search online, whether it's eBay or Facebook um, Marketplace or whatever. Obviously you've got to know a little bit more about things if you're looking on Facebook. So we're going to break the video sections now. Now that you've had a general overview, know some of the, the, the pitfalls, um, we're going to break it into four sections and hopefully we can do it in such a way that you don't need to spend time on, on each of the other ones. We're going to talk about raised roof rails first, normal clear roof, normal, normal roof, which is the 754 or 750 or the 7105. Um, the fixed points and or T-tracks and then flush or integrated roof rails. So when you go out, have a look on your car, which particular roof type you've got and then hopefully you can fast forward um, on the video because we're going to show you what bits fit your car in a little bit more detail. We're going to show you where you can buy them online, we'll do a couple of searches on eBay and then we'll also um, show you um, how to actually fit them so we'll go outside and, and, and fit them on our vehicles so the first one we're going to look at is the simplest which is the raised uh, roof rails running front to back on your roof uh, that you can slide your hand under so these aren't the flush or integrated roof rails or those with the lip that you can't get your hand under these you can uh, you can get the full um, they're raised um, the foot pack that is the Evo range, which I showed you a little bit earlier, is 7104, which this is, this is one. Its predecessor is 757, which is here. It also was the 775, which is this one. Then prior to that, there was a 755. And then prior to that, which was pretty rapid fit, so you don't actually need the bars with the slot on the underside to use this is a 415 Thor 415 but as we are probably aware uh, Thor made the the Halfords as I think I mentioned made the Halfords Exodus kit prior to the Exodus coming on to the uh, the rate on onto the market um, the Halfords had their own branded products um, and they sold the 415 kit this Thor one is a 1054 Halfords kit um, and we'll come on to that and see why it might be useful. Um, so the first step is we look up uh, for your uh, vehicle. So obviously I can't uh, pick out every um, can't pick out every vehicle that, that exists. So what I've done is you go to the roof rack, you put you put your car details in um, roof rack, and you put in a car. Um, and what I've done is I've populated it with a car that has raised reef, roof rails, which is a Citroen Grand 4 Picasso uh, 2006 to 2013. And I put that in there. So bear in mind, this is 2013, this, this range stopped being made. What these guys, what, what Thor are doing, they've made the uh, Evo range you're able to fit it. You can use this as the, the foot pack. Um, if we go to it, so all of these items, they've got the 7104 raised roof rails, and then they've got the 7114, um, which is the Evo 135 centimeters. That's what the 135s. So its predecessor is the, uh, I didn't bring one in, so <laughs> it doesn't matter, but its predecessor is the 762. Uh, rapid fit uh, system so what we're going to do you can see that in this particular instance I've clicked on the wing bar but if just to keep things simple square bar set up 157 uh, pounds um, and then we'll just pop over and we'll just have a quick search for the Thor 7104 um, foot pack We'll search it over here by lowest price. 
um, and it's £84. Okay? Now its predecessor, um, and we can validate uh, the fact that it fits by going to the roof bar guide. Okay? So we're looking, here it is, if you can zoom in, if you can zoom in, we can see that that is the vehicle. It's got the roof railing uh, in it. It's got its, um, you see the wing bar, it's got noted is 962. Uh, I think I mentioned uh, nine uh, predetermines that it's a, a wing bar. Uh, eight is an aero bar. Seven is a square bar. Uh, and then the last two digits denote its its length. So 962 is 135 centimetres. 762 is a square bar, uh, 135 centimetres as well. Now the point to mention here, if you go to the top, is they've got the new square bar. So this is the Evo range. So you see that the Evo range is 135 centimetres, but they put a new code on it, 7124. Okay, so 124 is... 24 is, the, is probably the length, and the 7 denotes the, the square still. And there you see it's got a 757, so it's meant to take that. It, before the Evo range, that's the one it would have took. If you're fitting, it wouldn't have needed to take this, because this one is for the straps for slightly wider roof rails. So if it can take that, any vehicle that can use that can also use that, the 755, and it can also use the 415. Okay, so now we've validated what we need to look for. So we've gone there, we know they're 84 pounds. If we look up 757, you'll get uh, a lot more options. We've got all listings up here, all right? They're auctions, so if you're patient, you can bid on them. Now, a couple of things to observe. Right, this one here, That is a 757 kit. For whatever reason, he's selling the uh, tightening pins from something else uh, separate. Um, that's a 757 kit. All I'm looking for is some people make errors because they call them 757s and they're not, they're 755s. Here you go. So he's actually been right. He's saying they're 757, now 757s, okay? The important thing that you have to bear in mind when you look at the difference between a 757 and a 755 foot pack is the way that is the method that they're tightened. So you tighten the 755 by putting this in the end. This goes in the end of the square bar. Okay, square bar goes on there, like that. That goes in there, that bit should have slotted in there before, and you tighten it, closing the clamp by turning that. Okay, now when you come to tighten this up, this is the wing bar, okay, so you can't, you can't use this to tighten the foot pack, so you can't use this 755 foot pack. What you do is you use a 757 foot pack that slots in there, and then you tighten it using this, all right, which is in the base of the foot pack. So the difference between this and this is the method of tightening. Same with this, you can use this. So you can use this with Evo bars, the new Evo range, any of them. You can only use this with the Evo range if they've got square, uh, if they're squares, square bars, but um, you're better to just get hold of an old set of rapid fit, and then you can use the 755s. People ask us, quite often about advantages and other ways of using um, arrows or wings or square. We know that, that there's obviously a lot of research and development goes into their design. They make them more aer aerodynamic, they make them quieter, so on and so forth. By the time you put something on your roof, if you're putting a roof box on, you're putting cycle racks on, you're going to get noise, you're going to get, um, it's not going to be as fuel efficient. and you might, you might as well, in our view, save the money of the extra expense um, and use uh, the black square bars. Um, the, 
Other, the only real reason that you might want to use the, the wings is, is if you leave them on your car all the time and then slot on roof racks, uh, sorry, bike racks and such like at a later stage. But quite frankly, if you've got raised roof rails, irrespective of what bars you've got on, it will take you less than five minutes to undo them and take them off. So you might as well just undo square bars. Um, but anyway, it's to your choice. So we're really looking on eBay for 757. We're also looking for 755, which is the predecessor. And again, if you know what you're what you're looking for, um, is you know you can pick them up. Just do the lowest price um, on there. I have looked for 415. You don't really see them that often. But they do the same job, so there aren't any on there, quite frankly. But, it, but for some reason, the 1054, which is an identical foot pack, that's on there. These are expensive. I wouldn't pay £50 for them, um, because you can probably pick, 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 a, <laughs> pick these up for £50, or these up for £50 quite easily. Um, if you're patient, as you know, if you're in on eBay, if you're patient and you wait, you'll, you'll, um, you'll pick up bargains via auction. The 775 is the one with the strap. Um, pretty much, you know, you can use these. These go on the wider ones with wider roof rails right in front to back. But, you know, you can use them. These ones wouldn't be wide enough for all of the, the ones that these take. So you could, in theory, just buy this and it'll cover all of your bases. So the other important thing to remember is even though if a new model comes out in 2020, and they'll only be promoting this on a go-forward basis. But you've got to think about it. If your car's got roof rails, um, even if it's a new model, there's every chance these are going to fit, even though they're promoting that. So the only advantage of this is it combines. It goes with the big, the big and the smaller width uh, roof rails. You could go out and buy those on, on the second-hand market, and you're probably covered just as well. Um, so that's the foot pack. Okay, what we're going to do is we'll just check the uh, roof rails. So their roof rails for this particular vehicle was 7124, 135 centimetres. Again, they put them in brackets. So, you know, they're 45 pound new. Um, I never, you're never going to be quite sure sometimes what, obviously if you go to, um, so you'll get the right, you will get the new ones, which are slightly lighter, apparently better uh, design. Um, but the 7.62s would be entirely functional. Um, so you can, you can go for the 7.62s uh, as well. The one thing that I would encourage you to do when you're going, certainly for something with a, with a 135 centimetre, um, length search nearest first all right um, and this guy here he's got you know it's free collection he's 55 miles from us we're not going to go there but you know if you do the, the point is they're expensive to mail um, because of their length um, the post office charge you know an exorbitant amount of money for, for anything that's long you, you can do your own research on what's a cheap way of, of getting them mailed. But if you do search nearest first, it won't come up with the cheapest, but you, you'll find those that you just around the corner and you can drive to to save yourself the postage and packing. Now, obviously, if you just search through roof bars, you get an inordinate amount of... Um, and the other thing that you can do is just put it include. If you tick that box, include in description, it brings up everything, absolutely everything. So you'll get, if we did Thought 762 and put it include in description, you'll probably get more options. See, there's a pack of two there, um, and there's 192 where we had a lot less. So that's the lowest. I wonder if we've got any nearest ones by the time people have mentioned it in there. Uh, no, they haven't. No, no, that's no good at all. Um, but anyway, so you, you've got different options, different ways to um, check it out. Um, always having this to hand so that you can get the rapid fit, and then these the various different options. So as we were explaining inside, 
Um, this is the 7104. Very easy to fit to the to the roof bar. You just slide the front on and the back on there. Put it around the roof bar, and then the new Evo range comes with a, um, a ratchet which tightens it up. And when it gets to the appropriate uh, tightness, it's a sliding torque wrench. It will just click through, so you know you're tight enough. Okay. Nice little added twist. Are you going to hear the wind in the background? Probably, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is the 757. Again, very simple. Goes on there like that, goes round here, and you tighten up to tighten it up. There's a cap that goes on the end there uh, as well once you're tightened. Exactly the same with the 775. Put that strap round there, goes in there, it's quite a fiddly one this, this is. Um, you have to make sure it's all loosened off, that will go in there and then you tighten up that using uh, this uh, tightening pin. You can, remember, you can use any roof bars with these, these setups. You can fit the wings, you can fit the squares, you can fit the slides, you can fit them all with any one of these. All right, and the Evo range and the rapid fit are interchangeable. When you get to these last two, 755, you can only fit square bars. You can fit some arrows if there's a tightening pin, if they come with a tightening pin, but the arrows aren't made anymore, they're replaced by wings. You may have an old set knocking about. So again, you just slot that in there. That goes on. People will pull out this tightening pin. That goes on there and tightens up. All right, very easy. Pop it in. The 755s always came in the in the box with the foot pack with it with the tightening pins. These and these came together. All right, and they always had a lock because if you think about it, you put them on, and if you didn't have the lock, some you know somebody can undo them and take the whole lot off of your vehicle if they so wish. And the reason I mention that is some people on eBay do list them, one without tightening pins, or two uh, with tightening pins without a lock. You really ought to, ought to have the lock on them. The, th the fourth and final one I'll show you is this one 415 um, or um, 1054 that Halfords called it. Okay, This pretty straightforward, it's going to go round the bar, it's going to go on there, up round the rail, go round there and then you're just going to tighten it up using that thumb screw there all right and then once you're done you're going to pop that on there and turn it so that no one can get in okay obviously that can only take a square bar so you can't fit wings using those or arrows the other thing that as i mentioned in there earlier you can use all of these bars remember we've got the slot you can use the version that predated these which was just a, a plain square bar, solid bar. All right, so that's the options for the raised roof rails. So now we're gonna go through um, what fits on your, uh, if, you, if you've got a car with a normal roof. Um, so I showed you the parts earlier, which were the uh, 7105 Evo foot pack, the 754 rapid fit, and then also the 750, uh, which came out before the 754, and you can only pretty much use square uh, bars with uh, this particular uh, bit of kit. Now each one of these, as we mentioned earlier, has to have a fitting kit. And the fitting kit fits under, is the bit that hooks under your car uh, roof. So on the 754, I'm going to put these on inside um, and then we're going to demonstrate uh, the tightening and the fitting of the, uh, of the kit uh, on, a, on a car outside um, because it's a bit windy out there. So we'll, we'll do it with this. So all you do is you pop that in there like that. That's sound, that's secure. You put, you have to, um, all of these, fortunately, I knew that anyway, obviously, 
all of these particular fitting kits are the uh, parts are the same. Um, so in some, you just have to be a little careful. They've got a number on there, uh, these ones, which are all identical. They might have a different number, and then the instructions will tell you which one goes rear left, rear right, front left, front right. Um, so you just need to be aware of that. Similar with the rubbers. All of these rubbers have a number 476, but they will have a different profile and a different shape. So you just need to be careful. They come with uh, a little sticker, it's not in here, uh, in this particular pack, which you can put on your, um, on your foot pack to show whether it's a front or a, a rear left. You just stick it there and then you know, you know for future. That just goes on here, like that, and you press that on either side, and then you slot it on your roof bar here, and it goes on. The roof bar and slots in there all right with the new evo range they do uh, go into quite a bit of detail about the distance that they want you to push the foot pack in because each one of them's got incremental measurements on here okay um, never sort of um, poo poo instructions but what we find when we're putting them on um, cars is that we prefer to put them on the roof bars, take them out to the vehicles and then adjust them into the bodywork uh, a little bit easier. It, it, it's, it's horses for courses, there's, there's both ways you can approach it if you, if you so wish. So the thing to remember on the fitting kits for the Evo range, which is 7105 um, foot pack, is they all begin with a 5, okay? Um, and we've got the same sort of routine now just to mention before we leave the 705 this is the torque wrench that was used on the raised roof rails as well what's pretty impressive with this is when you get to tight enough the, the, the torque slips so you can only go out to the appropriate uh, uh, power uh, so or tightness so then you go to the 754 rapid fit system, exactly the same. This is out of an Audi A3, which is the vehicle we're actually going to show you put it on. Just pop that in there. These ones are numbered differently. Okay, so on here you've got, um, it will show you front left, front right. So the front left, 1172, 1172, but the rubbers are 166 and 165. And then you've got different ones on the back, 1127, 1127, 249, 250. Just make sure you get it around the right way and you can label them. All right, so that goes in there. You'll see on here as well, there's a little lug that goes in the front um, uh, fitting kit, but there isn't one on the rear. Okay, so some of, them, some of the fitting kits have these uh, points on them, others just go around the door frame and what is so important because um, time and again people um, seem to advertise fitting kits on eBay and, uh, and such like you must have the right fitting kit for your car you will damage your car if you put the wrong fitting kit on um, you'll damage the door you'll damage the, the, the roof sill so um, and they've all got numbers on them um, and there is a method um, of if you come across one with a number, you, you, you know, there is a method of, of tracking down which kit it applies to, if you so wish. There is also um, roofracks.co.uk, which is the, a very good site that we mentioned earlier. They have a list of all of the fitting kits that you, uh, that exist, um, and the instructions. They've got a list and then a, a link to all of the instructions, so you can see which um, you can just verify which car they uh, they fit and what the part numbers are that go in it. Um, so that's a very useful uh, site and very useful to know. Again, whilst we're here, remind you, we can only fit these ones, the 750s, to square bars. And in our view, square bars are the most um, economic, they're the cheapest, um, and they're functional. They're perfectly functional. As long as you've got the slot on the underside, uh, you can use them. Um, you can't use these with wing or arrows or slides or any others, whereas you can use either of these uh, with those. Okay, so 
What we're now going to do is we're just going to have a, uh, a look at um, where we're going to validate what's needed, so where we go to find out um, what we need for our vehicle. Again, this is the Thor website. I did show a little bit of this earlier. Put in the Ford um, 2013, and again, I'm mentioning this one because it is interesting that they've already created the Evo range for this vehicle, charging 194 pounds, okay? Um, because they're, they're taking the Evo range and they're backfilling the fitting kits that apply uh, to the Evo um, uh, setup, okay, for, for the most co common cars. Um, going forward, you know, if it's a new, um, a new model, if you buy a new model in 2020, then you're likely uh, to need the Evo uh, bars. But if that model, you buy a new car in 2020, but the model is a 2018 uh, model, then you will have a rapid fit set up. And that's where this booklet comes in that we can uh, show it to you and, and look it up for you. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the guide and I've already searched for the Fiesta and we've got the five door one here. Okay, and then just going along 761 bars, which is, so this is the rapid fit system. Okay, it's not, this is 2018 manual, so it's not listing the new foot pack because it hadn't actually hit the, uh, hit the shops at this stage. The only bit that had hit the, stop, the shops was their Evo square bar. 7122 okay new square bar and then this is the old rapid fit square bar but they're identical I shouldn't say that these are 118 centimeters this is 120 but they do the same job all right you can then go across the wing bar uh, that's a slide bar sorry and then you can go across to the wing bar which is 961 again uh, 120 uh, centimeters so even at this stage, they hadn't brought out the new Evo wing bar, which is referent, which was referenced on the Thor website if you went and, and done that, but they didn't even have that on the, the manual uh, at that stage. So we were looking at this model, so you can see the fitting kit is 1503, 754, 761. 761 is a square bar, so you can fit these if you wanna do that as well, that makes you 750. So what we're now gonna do, is we're just going to have a, a little search on eBay uh, for um, the 75. Well, let's go for 7105 first and see what they're selling for. 7105. Um, oh, I've clicked including in the description, so let's take that out and let's just hit search this again. 7105. You see, this is what what happens here. This is an erroneous listing, all right? That isn't a 7105 and a 5123 um, fitting kit because it's the wrong shape. So what they're doing is they're trying to be honest, they're going in, they're looking it up, um, they're going in what fits their Land Rover Freelander and they're finding out that it's this, and a 5123 kit, but it's not, it's this, and whatever the fitting kit is for that particular rapid fit. I can't remember off the top of my head. And again, this is a 750 foot pack. Okay, now they're saying now foot point. So you just got to be careful, which is fine. They're advertising it correctly, but you don't, um, yeah. So you just, they're good. They've, they've tried to help you a little bit uh, on that one um, to try and make sure that you're not buying the wrong thing. Here's the Thor Evo clamp, all right? 36 pound for them. They won't go for that. If you hit the buy it now on these ones, the cheapest real, see they're all advertising in their 754. So the cheapest Evo clamp is 70 pounds, okay? They retail at around about 90, I think, 88, something like that. Um, what did the, uh, but, Anyway, so they're, they're, they're expensive, all right. So then what we're looking for is the 754 foot pack, because we know this fits, all right. And you get lots of links with the, um, 
let's go for the cheapest there two there's two there that's a kit that's damaged because it's not got the covers on it that's another one that's damaged these are these are 750s okay so you can pick them up for 25 pounds um, if you want but there there you go look there you go VW Golf foot pack 754 30 pounds and they've got locks okay when you buy these 750s and 754s from the shop they didn't always have locks okay um well, they didn't come with locks as standard reason being is that they're hooked that the bit hooks under the door okay so you know they're very difficult to remove if the door's shut and the car's locked you wouldn't be able to get them off your roof so they gave it as an option you have to pay for these extra all right it's not like the uh, 755 roof rail the ones that go on the uh, raised roof rails where you had to have you you needed a lock on them when you bought them but these tightening pins come with the foot pack all right they don't come with the bars the bars just come on their own the new 7105 has got a key and a lock sorry a standard for obvious reasons because this clips on here you lift it off and then you could actually undo it if you wanted to so they need to lock the casing there um, small item just to make a note of for you when you buy these make sure they come with a key all right if you're going to buy the 7105s you're going to buy them second hand make sure they come with the key for there because there is no number on that barrel okay and there's no number on that key when you buy these there is a number on the barrel there's a number on the key same as these there's a number on the barrel a number on the key they stopped putting the numbers on about 18 months ago um, the story goes somebody was selling a job lot of them with the numbers and everything um, at a knockdown price uh, on eBay so for security reasons <coughs> excuse me they decided not to use the uh, not not to give keys to the bat the numbers on the barrels trouble is you lose the key you're a little bit knackered um, <coughs> I think as far as I can work out anyway um, so this is uh, 754 you can pick up 30 pound the man's um, giving you free delivery on them um, you know that's cheaper and the thing with the 754 is you tighten it up using in the foot pack when you tighten up the 750 that goes on the square bar here and remember when you're putting it on lift this up <coughs> and then, then that creates a gap under here that goes up along the bar we're going to show it outside but when you get a certain length when you get here, that clips comes down that tightens to the bar then uh, you put the foot pack on as I've shown you already and that hooks up and then you tighten that by going in the end of the uh, in the end of the bar okay but these can only be used with square bars but any other bar you can use for these and these okay um, so you can pick a pair of them up for 30 pounds or a set of them sorry um, and if you if you and then after that you can pick up seven six ones which are the bars we're looking for okay lowest paid he's got set there for 18 pound including postage um, what I'd really encourage people to do though with with the seven six ones are the most common bars um, they're 127 20 centimeters they're the most common ones used for vehicles um, so they are um, the most available I put nearest first um, and this is coming to us but um, look there's somebody with a he's free collection he's 20 miles away he's 15 quid um, we've just put buy it, buy it now on all listings you can pick up a set of 761s you know often you can pick them up for 10 or 15 pounds there's a set there cash on collection um, so do because the reason why I mention it is that mailing bars is expensive because they're too long it's not the weight it's the length um, so I always encourage people if you you, you want to uh, try and search nearest the other thing if you include it in description <coughs> you get a lot longer sort of listing the chap there is only 10 miles away um, he's got Exodus square bars um, and then he's, yeah, he's got a lot there or whatever 
Um, <clears throat> so that's the setup uh, for the Fiesta, as we've said, or for the, the use of the um, vehicle with, with uh, a normal roof. And then we'll just go out and we'll just show you how to put a, a set on. So here we have um, a car with a normal roof. There's no rails, no flush rails, no fixed points. And as you can see, the um, fitting kit that goes on the base of the foot pack hooks under the door. I showed you this one in, inside. Um, and the front ones have a little nodule on them that goes in the base. And it goes in the base of the 750 as well. It can go in either. So the 750... The fit, any fitting kit that fits 754 fits the 750, but these fitting kits do not fit the new 7105, okay? Now, you'll see online, we've been fitting uh, roof bars to vehicles for sort of 10 years or so, and only on two or three occasions have we had a fitting kit and a foot pack that, this, that didn't work on a 750 that the fitting kit needed to go in a 754. Very rare, very rare. But if you're a little bit nervous about it, get hold of a 754 um, because then there'll be no doubt in your mind about it. But certainly 750s uh, work for earlier vehicles, vehicles more than 10 years old. We're in June 2020. Vehicles for 10 years old, certainly probably more than five years old. Um, but the odd one does pop up where you really need the 754 because the angle's changed. Having said that, I've fitted a vehicle that needed, an old vehicle that needed the 750 and the 754 wouldn't work on it. Rare, um, out of the hundreds that we fitted the uh, bars to, but it, it does occasionally happen. Okay, so all you're going to do is we're going to, we can show it on either of these, we're going to lift that up and that goes over here it's easier if you've got two people either side and then all you're going to do is you're going to move the bar that the foot pack in to where it reaches under here then you're going to click that shut all right then you're going to put this you're going to put this on probably before you actually lay it on the roof you're going to put this on with the with the fitting kit when that goes in the bottom there with the rubber and then when you tighten it what happens is it tightens up underneath and pulls that up okay exactly the same principle for the 754 but here with the 754 just to get these out you pull that back there like that and lift that out And then on the 754, same idea, lift that up, all right, slide that down here, like that. The way of tightening this, again, you'll have the fitting kit and the rubber, you'll have the metal and the rubber in there, and then the way of tightening it is using this torque wrench. Okay, when you come to the 757105, let's take that off. This baby slides up and down by you pressing those in. So if you get to there, you press them in, it raises, okay? Now you can look at the instructions and it'll tell you for your vehicle how far up they should be away based on that. But what we tend to do is get either side of the vehicle and just push that up and down by pushing. Um, just raises that up so you can slide it in. All right, now again, you cannot swap the fitting kits that needs to be used for this foot pack with these and vice versa. Um, the, the nice thing, another little twist that's nice on this, when you tighten these up, that's a torque wrench that slides, slips as when you've reached the right uh, torque. Okay, um, that pretty much covers it, I, I believe. Like I say, we've got Thule arrows on here just for people's interest. These no longer made, they're replaced by the wings. Um, the wings can go on here as well, um, and you can put any bars on either of these two. Next one, um, we're gonna go through, next roof type or foot pack that we're gonna go through 
is those with fixed points uh, and T-tracks. So if your roof has, has fixed points. Um, so we can actually go back to the visual on these. I'm afraid I haven't got a car outside with fixed points or with a T-track. So we're going to spend the time in here just explaining the uh, what's needed and how to uh, look it all up. So you've got the four flaps on the uh, or slides on the roof line. Uh, the foot pack you want is either a 751. This is a 751 foot. This is a 751 foot. Or you can also use a 753. Most times you'll see the 753 listed. As you can see straight away, these are stumpier, they're a little bit shorter. Okay, so either of these can be used with fixed points. Or cars with fixed points. Just take them off and see what you can see there. Um, the roof bar lengths do matter, just to remind you again, um, you know. 760s, 761s, 769s, 762s, different lengths, all square. You can use wings and you can use any any um, of the bars that exist, as long as they've got the slot, can be used with either the 715, 751 or the 753. Um, you, uh, but as I say, you've obviously, your vehicle will have a different length than, uh, than, than others may do. Um, the other thing to, to remember is that all fixed points or T-track fittings begin with a 3. 3006 is for a uh, Vauxhall range. I've got a 3028 which is for BMWs. I've got a 3027 which is for a T-track. Um, so, but all of them have a 3 series. Now, they haven't bought out the new Evo range for fixed points yet. So when you use all the lookup tools, they're all coming up 751 or 753 uh, as being used. Um, the only thing, just a, a little thing, when you look up um, 753s and 751s, uh, in some instances, bar lengths, whilst both will fit, the bar length might be a little bit different because you can see the foot pack on the 751 is, is longer. So, i.e., if you look up in the manual, it says use a 753 and a 761 bar, for example. If you buy 751s, you might actually need the slightly shorter bar, which is the 760, 108 centimetres. Unlikely, but it, just be aware of it if you're going to try. If you've got an old set or an existing set of 751s, you want to give it a crack. Uh, the bar length might be slightly different just because they're uh, slightly shorter. Unlikely, but it does happen uh, on occasion. Um, so the other thing just to remember about these, because they look the same when you're looking on eBay and such like, um, people do confuse them. They're so similar. Um, when you're putting these on bars, and I'm going to pick out the shorter bars to so hopefully do less damage. Um, you place this on here, goes in, and then you have a Allen key that tightens it up once you get to the length that you need. And these will hold the uh, fitting kit on, which I'll show you in a, in a, in a, in a minute uh, on a couple. Um, one thing to remember, and I'll just mention it, and I'm gonna mention it when it comes to the flush rails, um, these, um, if you've got cars with flush rails, you're going to use these, okay? Whilst you think they look the same, they do not. They cannot be used for flush rails. So the fitting kits that go in here, whilst they might even fit in here, when you put them up to your, your car with flush rails, they come at a different angle and they will not work, all right? So don't try it. Um, so let's just have a quick look at the different types of fitting kits that you can get, just to give you a, a flavour for it. Here's a, a fitting kit that goes on the base of 
the foot pack. This is off of a Voxel uh, Corsa and a Voxel Vectra. So that's going to go on there. You're going to lift your, your flaps on the roof of your car and then you're going to tighten this up because it's going to go around a lug that's in that, uh, in that flap. Okay, that's one type. The other one that you're going to come up against is one when you lift them, you're going to find that this is the BMW. This is the BMW one. You're going to find it's got a threaded hole, so that's going to go on your on your base there. You're going to bolt that in, and then it's got a threaded hole uh, in the roof of your car, and you're going to turn that to tighten it up to the threaded hole. Again, there's instructions inside in the kits, um, but the point to remember, in some instances, it's going to be easier to put the, foot, the fitting kit onto the car first and then add the foot pack and the bar, have the bar on the, attached to the foot pack. Uh, in other instances, you'll get away with putting it all together off the car, then popping it on. 90% of them, you can put them together um, off the car and put them on and then there is a little bit of jiggery pokery sometimes just to try and line it up with the holes it can get a little bit frustrating in, in some instances okay so that's really that those are the two fixed point ones a threaded hole or a, or a lug or a clamp that you get round the other thing that also uses 753s and, and 751s is the T-Track so what you'll find, just to go back, we'll go back to uh, the image. This is the T-Track. It's got a, it's got a, uh, you've got it on your roof. It's a metal strip. Um, as the name would suggest, it's a track. And what happens is that you'll find a, a lug in the track or a recess in the track that you can get that in, slide it along, and then put it in under here, and then bolt it. To the uh, to the car, there's a washer that goes in there, and then this this tightens up on that, um, and then you'll attach it to the uh, to the foot pack. All right, so that's the, the the detail of what you want. So we'll go back to where we were, um, and then um, we'll just now have a look at how we look the, 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 uh, the items up. Um, so let's go, we'll go to the Thor site first. You're gonna go roof racks, then you're gonna go, I've done it, I'm doing a BMW 2014. So 2014, yeah, it's a four series, two door coupe, 2014. As I say, they haven't got the a new Evo uh, range. They have got the Evo bars, but as I've mentioned several times, the Evo bars are entirely interchangeable with the rapid fit ones. Um, and the rapid fit ones you'll get a lot more uh, cheaply than, uh, than you get on the, uh, the Evo ones. So they haven't got the new Evo uh, foot packs for this. So what they're coming up with is they've got the Evo square bar, which is, is 118 centimetres, remember, 7122 really replaces the 761, which is 120 centimeters. Then they've got the rapid system 753, which is this one. And then they've got the fit kit 3028, which is this one. All right, they're coming up with a total price of 194 pounds. Let's just remember that. Um, and we'll also just quickly validate it against the 4 Series Grand Coupe, here it is there, it's the same one, again in the manual it's, the, it's this one here, 14 fixed points, 761 bars, 961 is the wings, um, 7122 is the new 118 centimeter Evo bars, a new square bar it says there, we're 751 uh, and then we're 753. As I say, the 751s will also f work on the BMW. You just might need to use it. I think that the, the rear 
use as a 760 if you if uh, we found that a couple of times but it, you'll be fine with it um, so then what we're going to do is we're going <coughs> to look on eBay uh, we're just going to go and have a look <coughs> for Thor 761 roof bars now, as I've mentioned on on the others when you're buying roof bars it's a good idea to shop nearest first okay um, because roof bars are expensive to mail so here uh, you can pick these up around a corner less than five miles away for 18 pound you wouldn't have to pay the postage all right it's a 761 bar that would normally cost over 40 pounds certainly the new Evo bar uh, that's what that would cost if you went 753 for the foot pack um, be careful with these because people advertise the fitting kit and they get the 753s wrong sometimes so it's quite expensive the Thor Rapid system fit they're trying to charge £90 for a, for a foot pack um, which is expensive you don't need to go nearest first so you just go lowest price um, and you'll scan down if you just go lowest price we can go buy it now rather than everything auctions um, none of them there's one there oh that's 751 this is slightly bigger 753 um yeah they're quite they're, at the moment just on the bike now as you're, you're looking at <coughs> over 50 pounds still cheaper than the, uh the, the buying it uh, at the recommended retail price but i'm going to assure you if you hang around a little bit on auction and, and such like you'll pick up a set of them for less than uh, uh, 30 pounds or so um, a good sort of tip is um, when using eBay and trying to short shop around a lot is you should always be prepared to mail uh, items because obviously your your reach is worldwide if you use eBay's global shipping program uh, so your market's a worldwide market. If you're just doing collection only, then your market is 10, 15 miles uh, radius from, from your location. So where you'll, where you'll get an advantage is if you can search Thor roof bars nearest to you, and then you might, you're after a set of 753s, but you might see a set of 753s here, for example, that are on with a set of roof bars. They're not all the rest of your bits there, but you might find 761 bars uh, pop up with them. Um, so you could, you know, that's too expensive, but you'll find somebody having that up for a start price of 10, 15, 20 pounds. You might be able to go and collect a whole um, set up there for um so that one for example 55 miles away but they've got they and the bars are 120 centimeters so you've got the bars and the 753s for 40 pound they'll struggle to get they'll get around that um and then you can just swap the fitting kit for the one that's on there and you can find out what one's on there and sell that on separately if, if you wanted to um so that's the means by which you can obtain the 753s. Whilst we're here, I'm going to um, mention one kit that I think I referenced a little bit earlier on, which is a 4304. Um, and this kit works on a voxel Corsa. I've actually got the instructions. So it works on a Chevrolet Deo Ford Holden and an Opal large range of, of uh, voxels or a number of vehicles what's interesting about it is that when you go online it will give you a setup for 751s and 3081 fitting kit if you look up any of those ones online um, which is uh, that, but in this particular instance, they've got the fitting kit built into the foot pack itself. So, very useful. 
if you've got any one of those vehicles, there's your fitting kit that goes into the lugs. It comes in with the foot pack. It's rare that you get that, um, but it's an old, they, they did obviously did a few one-offs um, as they were developing the rapid fit range. And that's one that can save you a significant amount of money. I'm not sure if the 4304, now remember that only works for those particular vehicles, please don't try and think that if you've got fixed points you can go and... No, they haven't. Um, uh, let's just see if they've got all listings. No, they haven't. Uh, there's a foot, there's the front pack for it, there's, there's no point. Yeah, there you go, £37.50 for 4304. And there's his listed out, what ones they fit. Um, and then that combines a 751 foot pack with a 3081 fitting kit. If you look up the Thule 3081, uh, see that one itself, you know, you might get them up a bit cheaper, but they're still quite expensive. Let's go lowest price on a bike now for the whole setup. He's got one cheap. By the time you add the foot pack to it, you know, that's £20, £25 to fit 751 foot pack, pay that in addition. So you might as well just pay that £37.50 and, and get the 4304. And the other advantage with that uh, particular foot pack as well, just so you can see, is the hole in there you can actually fit a bar that's either 760, 761 or 762, it just slots in there. It's one of those bars, it's one of those foot packs where you don't need the slot on the underside is, is an irrelevance. So you can have those old fashioned solid bars go in there as well. So finally, well, we come to the last section, um, which is for uh, people with roofs on their car and integrated or flat flush roof rails. So they're rails that you can't, they run front to back on your, on your roof and you can't slide your hand under them. The new Evo range has a foot pack 7106 um, and it has to have a fitting kit to go with the foot pack. Obviously the bar as well and you can put any bars on the 7106 uh, uh, fitting kit as long as it's got a slot on the uh, foot pack as long as it's got a slot on the underside. 7106 replaced the 753 foot pack. Okay, and all fitting kits that have that go with the 753 foot pack to fit on flush rails begin with a 4, 4001, 4002, and, and so on upwards. Important thing is you cannot use the fitting kits that come with the Evo range on the rapid fit, and you cannot do vice versa. Okay, so again, it's very windy out there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually just show you putting them on the bars. It's, it's very straightforward. Um, there's one small item that I'm just going to mention. Um, these are the fitting kit. These are examples of fitting kits. This is a 4006, which comes off of a Volvo XC60. That's that. Okay, this is another one, 4049, that came off of uh, a Mercedes GLA. Okay, to all intents and purposes, all of these 4000 ones look the same. The thing is, it's the profile on the back as much as anything else, okay, and it's the angle that it comes at. I'm mean, no doubt that some of them you might get away with the odd one, but you really need to get the one that's specific to your vehicle um, because otherwise there's a lot of uh, damage you could do to your car and uh, a lot of other things if, if it flies off as well, whatever you're carrying. So the other thing, so that the profile's different, every single one of them is different, every single one of them is moulded to your particular flush rails. The other thing that you can probably notice with there is this has got two bolts going through it, this has got one. Only thing you need to be just a little bit careful about is that some of the 753 foot packs, the earlier ones, only had two side bolts for you to put that in. 
they had a block on the middle one. Okay, it's not the end of the world. You can get a couple of extra bolts and, and put them in if that's what the, the 753s are. The only other thing is the later, some of the later models, they had three three holes, and all you're doing to get them get that centre one sometimes is just turning the the, bar the barrel and the back to get it lined up with the hole so you can use them. you can use it appropriately. So you take the fitting kit, you line it up with your your barrel there, so you can get the correct angle on the bolt. Make sure you're bolting it in, you're threading it in, you have, okay, it's on there, it's secure. Then attach it to the bar, okay, or slide it on the bar, do the same the other side, then place it on your car, okay, and then tighten this up. What happens then is that tightens that it's got a lever in there that tightens it to the bar like that so you can't move it off the bar and that bit tightens up round the, the uh, integrated roof rail and then you'll have a plain black cap on the end that's an easy setup okay undo it that loosens it off of the bar put the bar down undo this all the way and put it back in its put it back in its box okay so where can you get these from and what do they go what are they going to cost so let's go over to our friends at eBay Sorry, let's go to Thor first, excuse me. What we're going to look up is a vehicle that has got roof racks with flush rails, okay? So um, this particular car, Mercedes-Benz 2015 C-Class 5 door estate, okay? Now bear in mind that vehicle, still manufactured but it was first that model first came out in 2015 well the evo range hadn't been designed in 2015 it only started being rolled out in 2018 so the rapid fit system would fit it fine all that thaw do you can't blame them is they're selling them at the latest products because they firmly believe they're superior to what they had previously um, but to the layman you'd struggle to see the difference but everything here is the Evo range. So you've got 7122, which is the new Evo bars, which are 118, whereas you've got 761, which was the equivalent, 120 centimetres. I know they're the equivalent because they're on my current car at the moment. You've got the flush rail foot pack, 7106, which replaced the 753 foot pack. And then you've got the fitting kit 6017, which effectively replaced the 4055 fitting kit that they uh, that you used previously. So to validate that, what we needed previously for this vehicle, because take a look at the price, 194. Okay, we're going to take a look at the manual that we had previously. Here we're going to look up Mercedes. There's the C-Class estate here, four rows down. Okay, you've got 891, 761 square bar, 753 foot pack, 4055 uh, fitting kit. Now again, just to remind everyone, you can get wing bars, you can get slide bars, you can get all sorts of bars. If you just want something that's functional, you can uh, use the square bars. Um, they'll they're usually sufficient for everybody's needs, the amount of time you actually use them. Um, there's no meaningful deterioration in, in wind noise in, um, and uh, economy once you've got a roof box on there and, and once you've got a, uh, a bicycle. Don't matter if you've got square or wing bars, you're still going to... Uh, probably the differential won't be that great anyway is what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Um, so then we're going to go to 
um, eBay. Um, yes, okay, so we're gonna to go to eBay and we're gonna put in Thor 753. We've looked for these a little bit of a while ago, um, earlier. You, you wanna to go to buy it now, probably. Um, just make sure, really important, that you don't, by some mistake, pick up a set of 751s, which look very similar to 753, but see description. You need 753 if you're gonna fit them to uh, integrated or flush rails, okay? Um, so that's, you, you can pick up, if, you, if you're patient on auction, you can pick up a set of these for 30 plus pound probably. Now bear in mind that other package was 194. Okay, you've got a Thule 4055, which was the fitting kit that we wanted to go with this. There's a set there for 25 pounds. Okay, so again, quite a little bit of saving there based on what you'd pay otherwise and then they take 761 bars and like I've mentioned to everyone previously on all the other sections you're really good to try and go nearest first on on bars because they cost so much to mail so if somebody's less than five miles away you'll get a set of these pick them up for 18 pounds so what was that 18 25 plus we reckon 35 so that's 60 70 80 pounds so you'd save yourself 100 pounds if you're patient, if you know what you're looking for, you can wait for all of these things to come up on auction um, and uh, you know, you'll get them significantly cheaper than that. Um, okay, so one thing I wanted to mention that I put um, back on the, uh, uh, on, on the uh, slideshow was uh, 4990, let's have a look, sorry. I wanted to mention this setup, 4900, 4901, 4902, okay? So this, before they came out, before Thor came out with the 753 and this sort of setup that goes with the 753, cars when they first came out with flush rails, uh, they were manufacturing these, which was called an in-tracker, okay? Basically, it goes round the flush rail. You tighten it up using a turning key, a turning pin that goes in the, the end of here, okay? Um, very similar to the 750, exactly the same as the 750 and the uh, 755. Black square tightening pin goes in the end. And then you, they were selling these, which was a, basically a filler in that you had to then uh, put in which was the effectively the fitting kit for your particular vehicle so they come up with a range 4900 4901 4902 mainly for Vauxhalls there was a, a one for a Subaru got an old Subaru that it would fit so I'll just touch base with how we've how I can explain that to you so this is the old I've got a manual here, which is a 2009 manual. And again, I'll go back to it being quite useful for you, um, just to have something on uh, for the for the old vehicles. So an Astra five door estate, you could have had a 4900, 761, 4912 go with that. You could have had a, there's a couple of Astras. Like I say, it's mainly Holden's. So that's Vauxhall, Opel, that's obviously Vauxhall as well. Um, you've got some 4900s there. If I do 4901, it will come up with a similar. Uh, actually, they've got it on an Audi A6, actually, by the looks of it, with a 4915 fitting kit. And they've also got it on a, a Seat as well. So um, let's just have a look. So if you look the, them up in a, the new manual, the 2018 manual, they will come up as a 753. Uh, foot pack plus a fitting kit um, beginning with a with, with a four uh, four thousand or, or, or whatever so we're just looking in the old 2009 manual um, and as you can see 4901 4901 um, and then we're going to go to eBay 
um, and just for your interest 4901 they're coming up 15 pounds 20 pounds plus now you must remember you do need the tightening pins uh, to operate that uh, as well um, you will need a, a, a fitting kit a 4912 or 4914 to go with it okay but it's just a just a sort of a, a throwaway one that if you ha have got a um, one of these voxels or whatever uh, or a SEER um, 4902 would be similar you do have the in tracker as they call it option so there's an Audi Q7 that uses it with a 4917 fitting kit um, probably not too many after that there's just one so it's rare but they do they're the original starts of the of the flush rails so if we just go back to our slideshow um, I think we're, we're pretty much there now um, I hope you've found the uh, all of the information of some use um, as I say you, you're absolutely welcome to uh, come to us um, on any on our website and ask us some questions you can go to eBay on that link that we have for the charity donation and ask us for some questions by contact seller and then ultimately what we'd really like you to do is please make a donation at Diabetes UK if you found this of, uh, of benefit. Um, speak to you soon, bye.